Hey, what's up, YouTubers? What's up, fragrance lovers? This is Steven. Thank you for coming back to Oda Treasure EDT, my channel where I show you these great fragrance finds that I'm collecting rare, discontinued, vintage, and otherwise interesting fragrances. And I have a couple here. I want to show you what I've been doing in the past few weeks. Actually, it's been a while since I recorded a video, so I'm going to do two videos. This video is going to be the second video. First, I'm going to show you this stuff, just show you what I've been getting into for the, fat, uh, for the uh, past few weeks. And I'll do this video next. This one is a smell-alike. So this is a modern hype beast of a fragrance, and this smells like another discontinued hype beast. So that's my teaser for this one. Come back and I'll show you. I'm going to unpack and I'm going to smell something for the first time. I've never smelled this before. And tell you a little story about the fragrance that this is similar to. So come back for that video. That's the teaser. That is the promo for that one. But enough about that. We're going to talk about what I've been getting into in the past couple weeks. So let's take a look at what is in here first. First, these are a couple minis I want to show you. This is the first thing I got a couple days ago and you can see what they are right here so we have two minis from Armani here this is uh, Armani O Por Homme and I'm sure everybody that is looking at the channel now I hope so knows what that is if you don't go back to the Oda Treasure channel and take a look at the videos tab I have a, actually a few videos about Armani O Por Homme so this is a mini I think most of you guys know that this is a discontinued fragrance, is being discontinued or has been discontinued. And there are tons of these uh, minis that are out and about on the market. This is a 5 ml size, 16 place Vendôme Paris. So this is likely from the 90s. Likely this came out of the set. There's a, a set of vintage fragrances. If you look on my channel, the picture, the banner picture on my YouTube channel, you'll see this Armani bottle in that set. That's what I'm talking about. What are these going for now? I think these are somewhere like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. And who knows, maybe in five years when these are hard to get, this will be up to uh, 50 bucks maybe. The seller was selling these two together. So these two Armani fragrances together. This one is called Sensi. Giorgio Armani Sensi. I didn't look this up on Fragrantica. I don't know anything about this. This might be a uh, women's fragrance, possibly. Can't see the bottom of it. You guys can look it up if you want. Sensi, this is a mini. It's a 5 or 7 ml mini. I looked on eBay what these are selling for. This one's almost full. This one is not quite full. I think some came out. Guys, these are 45 or 50 bucks. This is a discontinued fragrance that is, uh, I guess, um, highly valued. So these are two pretty cool minis from Armani. Next, I'm going to show you. In the last video, I talked about Jay-Z Gold. I got a 50 ml, almost full, like 90% full Jay-Z Gold. I knew that they're going up in value, and I didn't understand why. It's a, it's a celebrity fragrance. It's not really that great. It's interesting. It has a blueberry note. <clears throat> it's just kind of a fruity, modern type of fragrance. And, uh, yeah, I found a 50 ml used, and I got it really cheap. Well, wouldn't you know it, a week later, this popped up. And this is the big one. This is the full... Uh, bottle. This is the big size. This is the 90 ml 3 ounce Jay-Z Gold bottle sealed in the package. So it has this sleeve on it. I already opened up the box and took it out so I can tell the seller I got it. So it has this sleeve on it with Jay-Z, this black and white picture of Jay-Z with the, the gold necklace. And then that's what the uh, box looks like. It's obviously different shades of gold with this uh, it looks like gold bricks design on it. You can see me, the reflection of me in the uh, smartphone. And that's what it looks like, guys. And batch code. 
There's the batch code. 15157YV2. Didn't look it up. Don't know if this is the first year it was released. I'll look it up later. Wouldn't be surprised if it was the first year. Things always end up being the first year when I get these from overseas. So this isn't doesn't have a Japanese sticker on this. This was somehow bought and brought into USA, which is really cool, really rare. No one was um, no one was buying this. It was just sitting there for about a day, and I reached out to the seller, tried to get a discount. The seller wouldn't have it. So I picked this up for about $35. I think it was 4,600 yen. 4,600 yen, 35 bucks for this. I looked on eBay, guys, $200, $250, anywhere between $150 to $250 bucks people are paying for this thing. I couldn't believe it. So I, I had to jump on it and have it put in my collection. All right. And these, uh, these minis, I didn't tell you what I bought these for, $4, four or $5, so about Two bucks a piece, two, two fifty a piece for these. Now let's open this one up. Guys, I featured this in a lot of my videos, so this isn't something you haven't seen yet. I just haven't opened it up yet because it was sitting in the mail today. So let's check this out. I'll tell you what it is. This is a classic Abercrombie Fitch Fierce, the one of the original bottles. This is a red label silver cap bottle, Fierce. Now it's kind of loose, shaking around in there. I don't like that. Okay. All right, it's, it was put inside a Ziploc bag and the Ziploc bag was glued down. Guys, this is not how to pack a fragrance. Look, the cap is like, oh, the cap's not coming off, but guys, this is not how to wrap a fragrance. The guy put it in a Ziploc bag and expected it to stay like that. It's just, it's insane. You put tape over the bag so it doesn't open. You obviously do that because this is heavy enough to, well, I don't even need to explain it. All right, so let's take it out and take a look at it. Now this one has some problems, which I knew about. The label is messed up on it. <clears throat> the, uh, the fierce label is messed up. But I bought it because you can see it's almost full. Not almost full, but look at that. This is a 50 ml. The 50 ml is the largest bottle size at the time when this came out. So they were new in 2003. Fierce uh, debuted around that time. So this, is, this might be a 2004. 2003, 2004. This is the second edition. The first edition had a thinner cap that pulled off. This is the twist off cap. Let's take a look at that. It's a little bit dirty on the inside. That's not so cool. I'll have to clean this up a little bit. See, it has this twisting mechanism. It snaps in. Let's take a look at the bottom. Can't really see the uh, batch code on it. All right, so I knew the bottle's a little bit messed up. It was probably sitting face down in a drawer and sliding around. Why else would this be like rubbed off so um, unevenly like that? If juice spilled on it, it would probably all be kind of evenly rubbed off. But I'm looking at this like it was kind of fake, must have been face down and sliding around like that. <clears throat> all right, so the juice looks fairly, doesn't look that yellow to me. So I bought it because it was cheap. What did I pay for this? Uh, I think I got this for about $18. I think it was, yeah, 2,500 yen. It's somewhere around 17 bucks. So $17 for about, I'd say 40 ml of the Classic Fierce. So I'd give myself a smell, but it's so strong, it's gonna screw up the next video because I wanna test a, a fragrance for the next video. So I'll test this later and uh, see if it has turned or if it smells pretty much like the original Fierce. That's it, I just wanted to show you these real quick. Uh, Red Label Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce, I got this for about 17 bucks, it's about 40 ml. A sealed Jay-Z Gold, how about that? <clears throat> A sealed Jay-Z Gold, full size, three ounce bottle, and these two rare Armani Minis Sensi and Armani Pour Homme. 
And those are just some recent acquisitions that I'm adding to my collection, guys. What do you think? Give me a thumbs up, guys, if you like this video. Leave a comment if you want to say hi down below or tell me, for, tell me if you'd like to see anything featured on my channel, if I should look out for anything here in Japan where I live. I always thank you guys for coming back and watching the videos. Thank you for your wonderful comments. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.